A wounded warrior and his family now have a brand new home designed just for them. Thanks to the Gary Sinise Foundation. ABC 10 News reporter Marie Cornell was there for the dedication ceremony. Oh my God. For Staff Sergeant Stuart DiPaolo and his family, they aren't just getting a new home, but a new lifestyle. DiPaolo had served in Iraq and Afghanistan, but was critically injured during a training exercise at Camp Pendleton. The vehicle he was in started to go up an embankment and he had to jump out. The vehicle then rolled over on its side where the roll bar ended up crushing Stuart's head. When medical help arrived, every bone in his face was broken. Stuart's right side carotid artery was severed, his neck was broken, and his left eye was detached from an op optical nerve. His injuries left him in a wheelchair, but now he's getting a part of his life back. Through the Gary Sinise Foundation, they've created a brand new smart home custom built for him, giving Stuart his freedom and independence back. The house was dedicated with the ceremony complete with the Patriot Guard. The construction costs were paid for through donations from a number of sponsors. This is the 78th house the Gary Sinise Foundation has built. Reporting from Vista Marie Cornell, ABC 10 News.